Millie, what's up? Good day to you too. Extinguishing hope. Why would I want to extinguish hope? Should you want to like kindle hope? There still might be hope for that land. Lady, Millie, let me give it to you straight. Your only hope is in Jesus Christ, the Messiah, who died for sinners on the third day, rose from the grave, proving he has strength over death, and he calls all those who hear his voice to follow him so that they may live too and be reconciled to God. Boom! That's what I'd say if I was in the world of Warcraft to this lady. Get out of this lady's field. I'll help you, sir. It's a Christian thing to do. Now, I can't use hearthstones because hearthstones are magic. And they're um, so gonna throw that away. Though the land is completely incinerated and there is nothing left of the vineyard but ash and debris, I still might be able to recover, right? How bad can it be? It's pretty bad, to be honest. I was there, it's covered with orcs, load of fires. You know, you need to put your hope in Jesus Christ. All right, cool, give me a cloak, thank you. I would have done it for free because, hey, I'm a Christian, but led by a savage beast known as Kurtok, the Slayer. See, interesting that they call them beasts. Orcs are technically not human, they're beasts. We just rescued this lady's field from being burnt down. Now we can Kurtak the beast. He is responsible for the recent invasion and must be killed if we are to have peace in the valley. Ready? I think you're going to get peace through the king of peace. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, sir? Kurtak is the leader of the invasion. For the alliance. For the glory of God, brother. Warlock. I spit on you! That wouldn't be Christian. It isn't. You gotta love them. Slash love. Love your enemies. Here we go. I love my enemies. I love you. Dirty warlock. <laughs> Get me cleansed. If you repent. And believe the gospel. The directions he gave you... Like way back when, is that what you had to go off? Yeah, to yeah. Find you actually had to read the quest, and you had to go on this website called Thoughtbot, and you basically did this. You googled it. <laughs> you googled it, yeah. Because I'm snowing it with my <laughs> slow shot. It's, it's a concussive shot. No, it's like I basically shoot him in the leg with my arrow because I'm skilled, and that slows him down. There we go. Kurtak, you've been pwned. Let's go. And I have prepared papers that must be delivered. To Marshal Doug Dugan 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 Goldshire Dugan Dugan Dugan. It's probably Scottish as well. Cobalts. Here's the report. Can we read this? Did he say we could read? No, he, he told us to give it to the other person. We can't read it. All right. That's not for our eyes. So we're in the Eastern Kingdoms. It looks like upside down UK. It does a bit. It's like yeah. inverted United yeah, Kingdom. It looks like Northern Ireland. Yeah. yeah. It's like inverted UK. So that means this is Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Swave to the gods, be polite. Romans, what's Romans 10? Says that all, your, all authority is given by God. Or Romans, Romans 13. 13. Romans 13, read it out. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive his approval. For he is God's servant for your good. And if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. There we go. This is relevant because we're dealing with, you know, the state here. Okay, I'll do that in the morning because it's late and I need to get some rest. So I'm going to go to the inn. How rude. Standing on, standing on the banister there. I'm going to eat their small pumpkin while drinking some spring, refreshing spring water. Mmm. I could do some refreshing spring water. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there, guys. Hope you found that interesting. Make sure to leave a comment telling us if we should continue this or if you'd like to see a different game, us playing from a Christian perspective. Ideally what we've already bought. Yeah, ideally one we've bought, <laughs> Skyrim. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate that. It's been a blast. Hope you enjoyed this. God bless you.